Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? A few days ago I went to see another touring show and that was Fiddler on the Roof. I saw this at the new Victoria Theatre in Woking, which is quite close to London. And yeah, I really enjoyed it, so I um, thought I'd tell you about it a little bit. Okay, so the show revolves around the Jewish family in Russia. They're quite a big family. There's a father, a mother, and then they've got three daughters, three of which are old enough to marry. And the whole thing is basically here about tradition and religious traditions in a way. It's about that family trying to keep their traditions and stay true to their Jewish beliefs and it shows the difficulties that they face during a time of change when everything is changing and their daughters especially they want to accept the change and not be so traditional anymore and just go with the flow but the mother and father particularly find it very difficult to do that. You see this change most in the three eldest daughters. At that time and in that Jewish community it was very acceptable for people to have arranged marriages. They called it a matchmaker or something like that. Basically, the family somehow chose uh, a man for the daughters and the daughters just had to obey the, the, what the family, the, the parents wanted them to do and then just go and marry that guy, whoever that guy was. And like I said, that's just how things were at the time and that's part of their tradition, in a way. But the other girls in the family don't really want that anymore because they all meet other guys who they kind of fall in love with and these guys each have something, some, some kind of problem in the sense that they're not too right, they don't go too well with the Jewish traditions that the family have brought up to believe in. So yeah, that's pretty much the, the story and it might sound a bit serious or boring but it's really not, trust me. It's actually pretty interesting and quite fascinating. Someone like me, I mean for me, I the, the idea of arranged marriages is so bizarre and ridiculous and stupid to me but it was interesting to see how people actually dealt with that um, at that time. It was kind of like a nice insight into a different life, a different religion, a different belief, and I, I enjoyed that. But apart from that, the show itself is also really fun because there's a lot of dancing going on, the music is fantastic, and I'm going to get to all of this in a second. First I want to talk about uh, the cast. The father in the family is uh, called Tivia, I think, and he was played by Paul Michael Glaser. Now he's apparently a very well-established, famous American actor, and he was actually in the Fiddle on the Roof film which came out in nineteen in the 1970s sometime. So that's pretty cool. And he was very good. He had a great voice, his comic timing was spot on. He showed a great balance between kindness to his daughters and his family and a sense of authority which he showed uh, in some of the scenes. He's a very well respected man in that community and he showed that really well. Then we've got his wife who was played by Karen Mann. Um, that the character's name is called Goldie. She was hilarious, she really was. I mean, it wasn't a unique performance, I've seen performances like that before, but uh, she played the character very well nonetheless. She's meant to be a very typical, old-fashioned kind of mother figure. She wants the best for her daughters, but to her, the best means that they should just go and get married to the people that she's chosen. And so it's a bit bizarre seeing it all, but it's really interesting and, and it's funny. She is really funny. She had a great voice as well. Now, the three eldest daughters were played by, um, Emily O'Keefe, she was good. She's the oldest of all the daughters and she's also the first one to want to try and break the tradition in her family. I thought her acting was great, um, you know, she had a wonderful voice. She was really good. Then we had Liz Singleton who played Hodel. She's the second oldest uh, of the daughters, I think. And she was fantastic as well, she really was. Her voice especially was beautiful. Then there's Claire Petzl who plays the third oldest daughter. Again, I thought she was excellent in the role and she really showed uh, the character's kind of shyness, especially when she meets um, her love interest in the show. I think she acted it really well. The three guys that these three girls kind of fall in love with um, are Fid Fidka, who was played by Daniel Walton, Perchik, who was played by Stephen Waugh, he was really good, and Motel, who was played by John Trenchard. Now, he was fantastic. I think he was definitely the best one out of all of them for me. He just had like a really nice cute charismatic quality about him that made him very endearing and although he's quite little and he's shorter than the girl he just looked really cute and he had a great voice and he was so sweet and he just he was so right for that character for the role i really enjoyed his performance apart from that the whole ensemble were really good this is quite an ensemble piece they all have to work very well together and especially because Everybody on that stage plays an instrument as well. I didn't mention that, I don't think. But yeah, they're all actor musicians, which is so impressive. Honestly, I love it because, I don't know, it's just, it's some, there's something special about seeing a group of people on stage singing, dancing, acting, and playing an instrument. I mean, you can't get any more talent than that. It was just awesome, it really was. So yeah, the whole ensemble were really good. Um, one particular ensemble member who really caught my eye was a guy called Eamon 
O'Dwyer, I think. He just really stood out to me. He was funny, his facial expressions on stage were brilliant. Even when he wasn't, you know, the main focus, he was still in character and it was just brilliant to watch him. He was so good. And he actually plays two different roles. He plays one of the uh, members of the Jewish community and he's also the constable. And it's interesting how he switches back and forth between them. He was very good. A very strong actor. Now, of course, I also have to mention The Fiddler. I mean, the name of the show is Fiddler on the Roof, so... The Fiddler plays a main part in the show, even though he's not actually one of the main characters. He's pretty much on stage throughout the whole show. And I don't know why I keep saying he, because he was actually played by a woman. The Fiddler was played by a girl called Jennifer Douglas, and obviously she plays the violin. And she was fantastic. I mean, obviously her violin playing was very good. But she just looked really fascinating on stage as well. She has this really good... Um, stage presence. And I imagine that's quite difficult to do because she's on stage the whole time but it, she doesn't actually talk. Pretty much in every single scene she just sat on the roof and played the violin and I'm sure there's meant to be a reason for that. I mean she probably represents something. Because she just sat there throughout the whole show playing the instrument without saying a word and I mean the show is called Fiddle on the Roof so yeah I'm gonna have to look it up because I just have to know. Okay so apparently, and this is a direct quote, um, every one of us is a fiddler on the roof, trying to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. So that's, I guess, what he symbolises. It says on here, um, Life is a balancing act, a precarious journey filled with challenges, like that of a fiddler trying to stay perched atop the roof, but also containing a share of pleasure and happiness. So yeah, there you go, um, I think that's basically what the fiddler on the roof represents. We all learnt something today. Yeah, it was pretty confused, you know, when I first went to see the show, because based on the title I had no idea what the show was going to be about. I hadn't seen the film, I mean, this is a classic musical, I have to mention that, it's a pretty well-known musical. I'd just never seen the film myself, I didn't know what the story was. I'd heard of the musical though, and apparently it's one of the longest running musicals on Broadway. Um, actually, I read somewhere on Wikipedia that apparently it's meant to be the 16th longest running musical on Broadway, which is pretty cool. But yeah, going back to this touring show, the music is uh, very good. They're very um, traditional, old-fashioned songs, but it's good. I found myself really enjoying them. Some of the songs definitely did stand out more than the others, but I think just the fact that the cast on stage are playing the instruments themselves makes the whole thing a lot more enjoyable. Some of the songs were a bit forgettable, but um, others were very fun, very upbeat. I mean, the first song, I think, was called Tradition. I really enjoyed that one. It was a good first song, I and mean, it really set the mood. I mean, the whole show is about traditions and trying to find the best ways to deal with how things are moving. The, the song Tradition, it impressed me so much because I had no idea it was going to be an actor musician show, so I was like, wow, this is so cool, everyone's playing instruments, oh my god. I felt like I was literally transformed into a different world, into a different country. I literally felt like I was in Russia at that time, and that's what I like about musicals, and this musical definitely did it to me. It took me into a different world for a couple of hours. Actually, not a couple of hours, this musical was three hours long. I think that's actually probably one of my few problems with the show because, I mean, I like the show, but it did feel a little bit too long. But that's just, you know, I mean, it is a classic show, I guess they probably just can change it. But yeah, this was definitely one of the longest musicals that I've seen, because I'm used to, like, two and a half hour long shows, but this was definitely over three hours. Like, it was maybe, like, three hours and five minutes even. But that's fine, you know, it's just a bit long. There's a couple of dance scenes in Act 1. One of them is towards the end of Act 1, and it's just so much fun, I absolutely loved it. Pretty much everyone in the cast is on stage, and they're all dancing and having fun, and the music is great, and it's just, it's so much fun, it's just lovely. So yeah, choreography is great. Even though there's not too much of it, you wouldn't think. It doesn't feel like there's too much choreography in it, but all of a sudden you see these scenes where there's loads going on, and there's like loads of choreography, and you're like, wow! I didn't expect that, but then you really enjoy it. The sets were great as well, I mean, there wasn't too much, but the main house itself where the whole family lives and where the fiddlers sat on the roof was done very well. And yeah, uh, the stage never felt empty, it was, it was definitely really good for a touring show. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say about the show. It was just a really fun, traditional, old-fashioned show, and even though there's lots of fun, you know, dances going on and the music's great, there are also some, you know, quite dark, touching moments in the show which I really enjoyed. And yeah, I definitely recommend it, Fiddler on the Roof. And if you've seen it, and if you've got any comments or any questions about the show, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And like I said, I saw it at the New Victoria Theatre in Woking, but it's only the beginning of the tour, so it's going to loads of different places around the UK, so I'm going to leave the link in the uh, description thing below as well, so you can go and click and definitely go if it comes near you because it's it's a really good show. I mean, yeah, for me, this was quite an unusual show, but a very good one. I really enjoyed it. I don't know what's happened with touring shows recently. I've loved pretty much everyone I've seen in the past few months. But yeah, this film on the roof was definitely one of my favourite uh, touring productions. And um, yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this shoot, the video and the, sh the show if you go and see it. And guys, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.